Utah hits the road. They're heading down to the desert to match up against an Arizona team that's really had some struggles these last couple of weeks, both on defense and then after what we saw offensively, some questions there as well. Quickly here before we get to Utah, explain to me what the level of expectation is against the defense that is as good as any in the country. Well, yeah, Utah's allowing about 11 points per game defensively. But I, I think if you're Arizona, like, this is when you kind of rally together and you say, hey, let's go shock the world. Let's ruin somebody's season. Let's see if we can go do that. And if they're going to do it, to me it's going to be because Khalil Tate on senior night, who it's been a tough year and a half for him or so, but he's still one of the most electric players. We've seen him at his best. You have to be that for them to win. Okay, Utah right now still a lot to play for. The South still in the balance, although – the way they're playing. It's hard to imagine them losing some games and then coughing up the chance to play for a Pac-12 championship. How do you handle this if you're Kyle Whittingham? The things that you want to see from your football team, because you've been saying this for weeks now, the loss after that suffered out against USC, it seemed to spark another gear and just this focus. It's a, they've been on a tear and their sense of urgency, yeah. it is like every snap is life or death. And we've been to practice. It feels that way when you go to practice and you watch them compete on a Tuesday or on a Friday in a walkthrough. I mean, I think that's just the culture of this team. I think they are built to play one of the top four teams or one of the top three teams in the country if they are to make the college football playoff. And I don't think they slow down. I think they get that their backs are against the wall. And I think it's good that they're in the scenario they're in, Mike, in terms of they got to win. Like, they can't not play well. They know they need to have a pseudo style point show out in this ball game just regarding the CFP and what their strength of schedule is. So. I'm all in. I've been all in on Utah since the spring, and I'm staying with it to this week. Look, they already scored a style point win against UCLA. To your point, it's probably something that we need to continue to see, which sounds ridiculous, but in a lot of ways, it's just the reality of the situation. You and I spent some time talking about Tyler Huntley. Just the efficiency standpoint, what, 18 attempts, if I'm not mistaken, 335 throws. That is just... That's really damn good from Tyler Huntley. Looking forward to this one for a lot of reasons. End of the night, we got everyone covered on Pac-12 Network. You're going to be in studio with me, ready to rock and roll on Final Four.